on February 15th, UFC hits Fuel TV with none other than the pride of El Salvador, the pride of Quebec, and of course, the pride of Canada. No, no, I think the good. entire country, Ivan Menjivar. Uh, listen, this is, uh, you know, the UFC is trying to hit different markets when it comes to the television stations and, you know, the yeah. boxes, now Fuel TV. I, I think they're looking for an exciting show. You think they're, they're going to have it with you going up against John Albert, the prince? I want to give the best for my years. You know, I love fighting, so I'm prepared for a fight, so I'm ready for there. Uh, I want to give the best show I can. Yeah? Now, um, you know, uh, Prince Albert comes from that, you know, uh, Ultimate Fighter reality show, yeah. which seems to have its own kind of, you know, class and royalty, if you will. Uh, seems to have its own pedigree, if you will. Okay. You've got a following on your own. People that don't need to see you on some kind of reality show, for now anyways. Maybe one's coming. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk to some people. But you've got such a fan base with the, you know, the Montreal-based communities and with the Latino communities. Um, you know, when you're fighting with that kind of uh, pressure, how does that feel for you going out there, going up against a guy who's got his own fan base? It's fan base versus fan base. I don't feel a pressure really. You know, I do the, I do what I love. I do fighting. That's what I like. The first get here with the guys in train. That's the, my pressure. Come here and, you know, the young guys here, the behind me and. Try start gym, yeah. Oh man, they're so good. So my pressure is these guys. I just want to work with them and have fun. Uh, about the fighting and the everything, I don't feel any pressure. It's fighting. It's a sport. So I don't care about losing or winning. I just want to go there, have fun, and enjoy the moment. Now, this is your umpteenth opponent from umpteenth. Like, now it's you're fighting in Nebraska. You fought in Japan. You fought down here in Montreal. You fought in Toronto. You fought around the world. At what point do opponents start to blend into each other and just become the same person? Has it already happened to you? Is it happening now? Uh, no, not really. Fighting here, over there, is the same for me. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's the sport. So there's so many guys now. They're so talented. So I know he's good. I'm good. We prepare. So uh, it's just about go there and give everything I have. So now you're you're getting you're a little bit older now. Let's yeah. just be honest. Let's just yeah, be honest. You're a little bit older. At what point do you work on not so much improving your skills, but maybe making sure that your skills are still at the, at the top-notch, sharp level that they've been for so long in your career? I want to prove myself to keep continue training. Uh, it's so hard. No, it's not, it's not hard, but life changed a lot. Family, working, everything changed. So I need to prove to myself to I love this. I, can, I, need to, I love the sport, but I need to, my body can continue. I don't want to get old and injured everywhere. You know, I want to continue to do training smart and prepare for a fight. I want to prove myself uh, I love the sport, so I want to do it all my life. Uh, yeah, but all your life, I mean, yeah. part of your life is you're working full time though. Yeah, you work full time, not like a lot of these other young kids. Yeah, that, that's all they do training. How do you compensate for that when you know you're going up against guys that uh, this is all they do is they eat, sleep and train? Yeah, now uh, I get a chance to take a break for a lot three weeks, but it's really hard. You know, wake up at four, go working, and uh, I, I need to do it. It's, life yeah. is like that. So I'm not, I'm, I'm lucky this. I stay in the sport now, but you know, it's not easy. But people, you can do it. We can do it. Well, I know you love comic books and you love the superheroes too. You talk about the Wolverine, so it's almost like you're your own superhero because what the one thing about the comic books is it's guys that are, or, or ladies that work during the day and then they have alter egos and they go out and fight crime. Is that are you the the superhero of MMA, the super of the UFC that you have your daytime job and then you go out there and become Ivan, the pride of El Salvador? I think it's, it's real, true, it's true. Uh, in Gemini, so I have two phases. One is normal guy, the other one is go there and fighting. But we have to have a passion. Everybody have a passion. You have yeah. a passion. If you have a passion, uh, I don't know, collection, comic books, or yeah, yeah. Uh, post, I don't know, everything. I got plenty of passions that usually involve food. <laughs> you love food, you have to explore it, <laughs> enjoy it, travel in the world, enjoy your passion. Uh, don't say, don't, don't, don't let people say you, don't do what you love. Yes. Do what you love. You love sport, you love music, you'll do it. But, but doctors tell me I should stop eating, even though that's my passion. Continue eating, but go train. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Doctors oh, say okay. that too. Supplement the eating. Continue so training, I can eating moving, more. moving, okay. wake up. Don't just play video games. Okay. If you love video games, come, this game is best. <laughs> so that's why. Do your passion, 
but have a good life too. I know. I think that's a great message for the people. Yeah. But now specifically for all your fans, February 15th, UFC on Fuel TV. Yeah. A little message and shout out to all the fans out there that have been supporting you for so long. Watching the fight is on Fuel TV. It's free. It's free. Yeah, it's free. That's good. So watching the fight, enjoy it. Go with your family, friends, and have fun. And see you. I have a manager of our people right here on the way in. Oh, nice.